afterwards though, because you actually uh, saw someone else who had yeah. the procedure. Yeah. You know, and so yes. Yeah, yeah. Just I mean, have it. you ever seen anybody for this? No. No. Because you know, it's something that you know. Um, started very little and then and just right in the middle of it and then yep. it just started growing and growing huh it's pretty firm i don't know if it's a lipoma or a cyst and i feel a little depression right here so what i think what we'll do thank you is i think what we should do first You okay? Mm -hmm. Good. That should hopefully be all the kind of pinch you feel, all right? That's the goal here. So what I'm gonna try to do first is just kind of, actually, see if I can't pull anything out of it, see if we can figure out what it is. Feel anything okay other than my touching you here? You okay? Mm -hmm. Just trying to put some pressure and pull. Oh, something's pulling out. Now, because I already have it in, I'm going to do that part. You still look that a million times. <laughs> That's what I do. You seem so calm. I think your life is more stressed out for you. Which is so sweet. I'm just going to do a, what we call pet. This is what we do normally in the office here, just for a biopsy. Can you just kind of like that? Just make sure I'm never hurting you. Grab that stuff and pause it for a minute. Okay. Again, you just make sure you're okay. Let's see if I can see what's underneath right here. This is what you can do if you even just taking a biopsy of something. It looks solid. Let's kind of make sure. No, don't say that. Ready? Okay, so you're gonna know right now then. You you mean you wished it was a cyst? No. You okay, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Moving all around underneath here, see? Detached. This one might truly pop out. This thing is, I think, potentially centered. I'm going to keep that aside just in case. And I'm sure we'll have more tissue. See that underneath there? Yeah. So, so what I'm going to do is I put a little bit more numbing right there, and I'm just going to buzz that just, just, just to buzz it. And then we're gonna um, numb up around here, okay? We know what it is though, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna put like a little numbing under the skin, okay? So you just might feel a little tightness here. It's gonna spray me. 
You okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. If you can handle this, this is easy. This is just a little numbing to put underneath the skin so that it will be all numb. Feeling okay, right? I'm just going to feel tight. I'm okay. Okay, good. This is where it's gonna feel kind of wet. You know, I might need uh, your assistance here too if you wanna put on some sterile gloves for me here too. Need someone to help me to hold this. I'm gonna put some a little baby pinch on the outside of your pinch. This under here, Manny, so that it won't get too um, wet on me. And that's my other one. So I'm gonna forget about that one. This one here. Okay, you're just gonna put some numbing under your skin here. Again, a little tightness. I guess hold that one like almost like plug it, so it won't. I don't want it to get soaked. You know, the, all the fluid to just come out. You okay, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, you can handle this. This is it. You know, actually, right after this, we should put them in a cap too. Okay, blue font cap here. We need to have wear that. Can you bend your head down a little bit? It's gonna make this bigger here for a minute. Yeah, thank you. And it's gonna get in your way of your cap, your head. trying to get you. I was just trying to check. <laughs> you okay? Mm -hmm. Good. Oh, I like him. He's not nervous. He's doing just great. And I'm happy that this is, looks like, I think it's going to look like, do you remember that one patient we did for, um, it was on her upper back and it was like, a, like almost like a solid mass. Uh -huh. I think it's going to be like that. And just get under it, pop it out. Okay. It's going to feel tight because we're just putting a lot of numbing fluid under there. I just don't want, I want to make sure it's not coming out of there. I don't know if I should sew that shut here. It might because it doesn't, you have to put pressure because it's going to soak up the gauze. It's just going to soak this up, you know what I mean? You want to actually push it so that it doesn't soak, just take up the volume of that towel and then just make it wet. It's still coming out then. You okay? Your hand's falling asleep? A little okay. bit? I'll be okay. You need to I'm, move I'm it? Okay. I'm okay. Okay, in a few minutes I'll let you move it though. You can't, you got to sit in a position you can sit in well, I'm sure. One finger and just push down. Switch out. Okay. Let's see if it won't fill up fluid there. Because it's going to want to come out because I'm putting a lot of fluid under pressure here. You put your finger on that one. Can you? Okay, let me see this side for a second. Okay. 